Hey guys, Dr. Deuce back again with part three of my beat makers breakdown. Okay, so up to this point, we'd laid down the main elements of the track and we started arranging. We came up with a very simple intro and like a sort of chorusy section that's at, at the start of the track and now we're going to get into the verse section of the arrangement so um what we're going to do here is start breaking things down so the first thing i'm going to do is take out certain parts i'm going to take out the bass line i'm going to go to the pad track and insert a single band eq plugin now the mode i'm going to set is um high cut or low pass over this section right here i'm going to automate the eq so that we're filtering a lot of the higher frequencies um, in this pad so let's solo this and let us press a on the keyboard to go into automation mode and what we're going to do here is click on this and go to single band and what we want is the frequency okay now i'm going to press ctrl z to zoom in a bit more and if i was to click here now you can see that says a thousand hertz which correlates with what we've got down here in the actual module now what i want to do is i want to filter a lot of the high frequency so this is what the pad sounds like without the eq Okay, now I want to find a frequency that works, that filters a lot of the um, higher frequencies out. So let's go. Right, cool. So I'm going to go with that. So at this point, let's put a node in here, a couple actually. Let's say about to there and then we're going to pull this all the way up to the top because we don't want anything at the start of this uh, filtered so let's try this okay yeah let's work with that for now let's see how that sounds um control z to zoom back out and A on the keyboard. That's how that sounds with the other items playing. Right, so let's take some more bits out. I'm going to take out the hi hat rolls. In fact, I'm going to take out the snares as well. And I'm going to take these hats out as well. So keep it nice and simple. Right, we're going to keep the snares out, um, probably bring just the, the single hats back in and um, let's hear what it sounds like with the bass coming back in. Yeah, that works. Right, and now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just create a bit of a break. So let's zoom in a touch and let's highlight that. Let's highlight all of these sections and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Command Control T and I'm going to split all of the selected uh, regions by locator so command control t is split by locator and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put in a break right here 
Uh, let's see what I'm taking these out. All right, let's see. Yep, that sounds good. And what I'm going to do here as well, just over this, is we're going to automate the filter or EQ to open up over this section as it goes back into like the chorusy part. So let's go back here. Let's go to A on the keyboard, Control Z. And what we're going to do, we're going to create a slope now from this point, put in a node here. And we're going to put another one in right here and pull this all the way up so you feel the pad opening up over this section. Let's just go back and have a quick listen. Great. Okay. Let's close that up again. This should be the single hit. Okay. And just fill, pull that back to there. Right. Yeah, that's sounding good. And then we kind of drop back into the chorus. Right, great. Zoom out a bit. Now the snare hits are doubled during the chorusy part. So we drop that there. Great. So now I'm going to show you a neat little technique I tend to use when I'm working with a pattern that's sort of repeating and doesn't evolve much throughout a production. Have a listen to the marimba again. Okay, so that's the pattern and that's what it does all the way through. We're going to try and make that a bit more interesting and give it a bit more variation. And we're going to do that by opening up the EQ, switching on the low pass filter and setting the gain to 48 dB per octave. And let's change the Q to about, let's say about 2.2, 2.3. Okay, now what I'm going to do is switch on the automation, switch that on to latch. And so now what I'm going to do is adjust the frequency um, over time whilst the track is playing and let's see what we come up with. we go and it just adds a bit more interest um, to the part okay so moving to the next section we're going to once again add some filtering to the pad section so let's control z there and a to have a look at the filter cutoff and now we're going to just bring this down again to about here maybe a bit lower than before, but this time we're going to allow the uh, filter to open up over time. Um, and let's mute all of these things. Let's have a listen.
Great, so what we're gonna do as well is we're gonna copy this over as well. So let's uh, zoom into this track as well. Uh, so you can see the automation in the background. Let's switch to that. Alt or Option, click, drag, drop. And we'll bring that over there. And let's see what we've got now. Right, save that. Let's zoom out again. And this time we're gonna do one last break, which will be, let's highlight this section. Command A to select all. Command Control T. And we're gonna split everything there. Okay, get rid of all of this. This time we're taking out the base as well. And let's see what we've got. We are. Now the last thing I'm going to do is add a couple of transition sweeps to move from one section to the next. And that's it. All that's left to do is balance and mix this and we're done. So finally, I've added some transition sweeps here, uh, some crashes here, and I've just added a four bar section of the marimba at the very end. And that's pretty much it. In terms of the arrangement, there's a short intro. There's a sort of chorusy part here at the start. Then we go into the verse, which is uh, 16 bars, another eight bar chorus, a breakdown here. Which is be which will be the six another sixteen bars of the um, second verse and a chorus and then we're done. So let's just play this through and see what we came up with.
So that's it for this particular series. I hope that over the duration of the episodes that you've learned something. Of course, as always, please feel free to drop me a comment. If you have any questions, do get in touch. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. There'll be more stuff coming your way. If you have any suggestions, always remember to post. This is Dr. Deuce. Peace.